This is the story of two journeys. Separated by time and space. But connected through something even stronger. Something that could save the lives of millions of women around the world. In northern India, high in the Himalayas, a preschool teacher named Nilza begins her day at sunrise. She works all day, every day, until well past sundown. Her 12-year-old son, Smala, lives three hours away from his mom in order to attend one of the top schools in the region. For Nilza, the distance is a necessary price to pay for her son to get a proper education. It is said, but education is very really important for children. Computer is an electronic data processing machine which accepts data in Smala loves and depends on his mother, who selflessly works every day to support her family putting their needs and priorities above her own. But neglecting her own health could be devastating. Not just to Nilza, but to her son as well. Nilza had no idea that even without physical symptoms, her body could be harboring one of the biggest killers of women in the world. And then she saw the story of Lady Ganga. The River Ganga in India is considered to be the country's spiritual lifeline. For Nilza, this was even more literal than she would realize. And it would link her and a woman named Michelle Baldwin forever. Any pain here? Michelle Baldwin was a mother from the USA who was dying of cervical cancer. Once I start getting sick, how long does it take to die? She was given only a few months left to live. Shouldn't have to happen. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. I just didn't get a pap screen. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. So she decided to do the impossible. She would break a world record to help bring global attention to the disease that was killing her. Michelle left for India, a country she loved to stand up paddleboard a thousand kilometers down the Ganga in order to spread awareness about cervical cancer, which is caused by an extremely common virus called HPV. In India, 74,000 women a year die of cervical cancer. This cancer is 100% preventable. I'm here for the women who are voiceless. This is how Michelle Baldwin became known as Lady Ganga. My pain stopped the first day I paddled. With a limited time left to live, the separation from her children was at times unbearable. But they were soon reunited.
Along with her dream of educating women, Michelle also wanted to find inner peace. And even though she dreamed that the gonga would cure her, it didn't. But it did give her a remarkable gift. It became very, very clear to me that I had been completely healed. That healing, though, is not incompatible with death. When she returned home from India, her health quickly got worse. I believe in miracles. I want a miracle. Why can't we have a miracle here, too? She finally made peace with the fact that she was going to die. This is reality, and all I can do is make my dying change that for others. Which wasn't always easy for her loved ones to accept. Doesn't look like we're gonna get a miracle here. I'm angry, you know, I'm, I don't know. Michelle believed that her story could save lives. So she allowed filmmakers to show everything with nothing off limits because she wanted people to see firsthand that cervical cancer kills. It gives me peace to feel compassion for my body that's withering and dying rather than anger or despair. Yeah. It just all hurts. If she saves one person from the pain she's going through, then it'll all be worth it. Her story also happens to be my story. Open for Jello, yum. Because Michelle Baldwin was my mother. My mom loved us very much and always made sure that my siblings and I had our proper health checkups. And she even had us vaccinated for HPV. The virus that causes cervical cancer. Ten weeks after returning from India, my mother died. We took her body to the mountains of Colorado, and in the spirit of India, had a traditional open pyre funeral. I tried to stay positive, She's been the biggest inspiration to me, and I think she's going to inspire the whole world. But inside, I couldn't help but realize that I would never see my mother again. Her death left a hole in my life, and if she would have known the risks of ignoring her checkups, she would be here today, and I would have my mother. If no kids lost their mom from HPV, the world would be amazing. because it's preventable. Almost three years after her passing, my grandma and I went to India. And we took my mom back to the river Ganga. As we returned her ashes to the river, something magical happened. At the end of everything's the beginning of something else. Just two weeks later, not far from where the Ganga first starts as a trickle in the Himalayas, 
my mother's story was about to change the life of a woman she'd never even met. When word spread around Nilza's village that there was a video about my mom's story in their language, many women came to watch, including Nilza. After the video, they were told that a women's health camp was offering free cervical cancer screenings, just three hours away, where Smala, Nilza's son, lives. They were so inspired by my mom's story that the morning after, nearly every woman in the village made the trip to the health camp. Nilza didn't have any symptoms, but she made the journey to get screened anyway. And during her checkup, she got some unexpected news. You have a little bit of um, a change on the cervix. So we're going to do a very simple treatment for you. Yeah, are you okay with that? Okay. She had an advanced precancerous lesion on her cervix, which, if left untreated, could become cancer and might have eventually taken her life, like my mom's. Five years, ten years down the line, I dare not think what would have happened if, if she hadn't been screened. That's why I say it's one life saved. So this is what we took out, you see here? Okay, yeah? Okay. Fortunately, the doctor was able to take care of it with a simple procedure that same day. It was all finished, yeah? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, so you, you won't feel any pain afterwards either, okay? Just take some medication. Michelle, when my mother took me to drink, I was so sad. My mother was just there. I was standing there, but I was not there. I was just there. My mother took me to drink. I was not there. I was just there. I don't want anyone else to go through what I went through with my mom. And I think it's really important to give women access to that health care that's so necessary. I was 12 years old when my mom died, the same age as Smala. Nothing can bring back my mom. But knowing that because of her death, a little boy's mother was able to live means that she did not die in vain. Have your kids vaccinated for HPV. Please don't make the same mistake my mother made. Get screened for cervical cancer. Your children need you. Help Lady Ganga become an international movement. Please share my mom's story and help us save lives.